This is gonna be one massive project. Let's go. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the DIY Mega Power Bank project. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here. But before we get started, love Kusau to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. It is finally time. I'm getting to it. I was accumulating all these parts for at least half a year, maybe even one year maybe even more. This was a dream of mine forever. I want a, I would just want a really, really big power bank, a power bank that will never run out, a power bank that can give me 220 volts, you know, plug-in power without any problems. And since I finally finished my DIY fume extractor version three, you can check it out right here, you know, sucking up all these soldering fumes, I can finally get to big soldering projects like this one. I need to solder a lot and there will be a lot of fumes and I need to save my health. I need to look out for myself. All right, the total capacity of this power bank will be around one kilowatt hour, which is insane. This will be a 270,000 milliamp hour power bank. And if you, you know, multiply this by 3.7, I think this is what I did, then you will get 1000 watt hours, one kilowatt hour. So let's get to the rundown of all the parts. Okay, so first of all, obviously the most important part, batteries. Which one on which which one did I settle on? I will actually get to a separate video for the batteries. This is the specification right here. And to make it short, it's a lithium ion battery, of course, with these little soldering fins or soldering flaps. Makes it a bit easier. They are a bit more expensive than the ones without these accessories, I would like to say. But it's just way nicer to work with them. This is how I'm going to do it. Just fold them over, bend this wire, then of course solder it onto these fins, these flaps, and then two wires in these holes, and then a plug. All of this is straight from China, by the way. Of course, this is how I do it. Thickness right here, it's flexible. These are awesome wires. These are the switches right here. I settled on XT60 switches after testing basically every, well, not switches, plugs, of course. After testing all the plugs that there are, I. These are by far my favorite type. They are easy to solder. These are pretty cool as well, but they are a pain in the butt to put together. Custom designed 3D printed parts, of course, and they will connect three pairs each. And back here, they also have a fuse. This is not 10, but I think, uh, well, you can check it out right here. Well, overlay saves the day. Three in parallel, and then this will give me seven wires out of these. And then I will collect all seven in this one. And lastly, last but not least, the box, of course. This is a watertight box. Oh yeah, and also, of course, the slots. Now, yeah, it's hard to say if this is a good decision or not. I decided to keep it modular, printed 21 of these boxes of these little slots and they fit in perfectly, of course. But the thing is, it's not very space efficient. That's for sure. But every stack of five batteries has their own plug, which will make it very, very modular if I need it in any case. Probably, probably, maybe, I don't know, we will see. I will be able to use 3S easily. 21 is dividable by three, but 4S would leave me with one spare, which is kind of not what I want. But yeah, these are the parts so far. I will use this. As you can see, Quicksilver is on the list of ingredients. So yeah, this is potentially toxic. So that's why... I you know, fume extractor. This is gonna be one massive project, let's go. So in the next one, in the next vlog, you can check it out right here, I will get to the wiring architecture and I will talk about 3S versus 4S versus 7S. Also a bit about the modularity because I, you know, this is gonna be really modular. I will be able to change it up whenever I want. It will take more space, but it will be worth it, I guess especially for a first project to learn and stuff. Anyways, I guess I will see you there because that's it for this one. Smash that like button the way I think I could smash this whole building if I set this on fire. <laughs> Bang the bell like crap, pa, to never miss DIY projects. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.